As a four-year-old child, Dana Priyanka Hammond was thrown in a rice sack and abducted from her family by child traffickers. Although she was eventually rescued by police, she was never reunited with her birth parents and faced a childhood of abuse as part of the broken foster care and adoption system in America. She is now a health professional on a mission to help save millions of victims of human trafficking around the world. Her memoir is Abandoned But Not Forgotten, One Woman's True Story of Being Abducted as a Child to Scarring the Planet for Her Birth Parents. She's now 35 years old and a first-time mother. She joins us. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you so much. This story, just that intro that we read, I just don't think people can even believe it happened. Do you have a memory of being kidnapped? Absolutely. That was my first memory of India which was being abducted and thrown in a rice sack and just feeling scared and not knowing what was happening to me at the age of four and just being uh, feeling like a sack of potato on this uh, man's back and just not knowing where he was taking me. I don't think people have a sense of just how prevalent trafficking is and there are different kinds of trafficking. How can people spot it? What is being done about it? Well, it, there's different various of trafficking and believe it or not, there's also uh, considerably uh, adoption trafficking that you can't even spot. And um, I'm not saying all orphanages are in this uh, to uh, scheme people over, but I'm saying that majority of them are. And that's why the adoption trafficking uh, cost to adopt a child is 10,000 to 35,000. It's uh, extremely expensive. And they're in on it, on um, hiring somebody and abducting children from the street or from under their family's nose to uh, just to adopt them out. So what was your life experience like uh, once after you were kidnapped? Do you have, was it just a series of horrible experiences for you? Yes, it was. It was just one thing after another. Uh, so when I was thrown, uh, put in the orphanage, uh, the I went from the orphanage to being adopted uh, here in America, and then I just went through neglection and abuse uh, ever since then. Uh, it's just my first adopted family. It just their intentions were not right. Oh, mm. It's just horrific to hear. How do you? What is the evolution of your mental health? How do you recover from something like that? I don't think that you can fully recover, and um, my state is um, pretty well balanced because I'm uh, due to that trauma. Uh, I deal with PTSD, so I have to take something for anxiety and um, uh, stress as well as depression. So I, I just make sure that I'm responsible for my own mental wellness and my mental health, and that's what I uh, do. Uh, especially for my baby girl and for myself. Congrats on your new baby girl. And it, it begs the question, have you ever been able to track down your birth parents? No, I have not. Uh, so I'm as of right now, I'm currently uh, searching for my birth family and I'm going on a journey of finding my birth family. So I'm linked up with this program in India that uh, are helping me to find my birth family. And because of the COVID, it has not allowed me to uh, travel to India or to go uh, w through the media over there to even search uh, like I would like to or um, to take it further along the uh, journey to uh, find any more extra documents like I would like. So do you know your, your birth name? No, I do not. Oh. Uh, that is one thing uh, that I don't even know. Uh, nothing was left behind me in the rice sack. So the, they don't know anything about me, my uh, age, my birthday. I just know that they were right on track with my age um, because I do recall that I was four years old. Wow. Well, it's an unbelievable story. We wish you nothing but the best and, uh, and your journey to help stop uh, human trafficking as well. The book is Abandoned But Not Forgotten, and you can get more information about all of this at Dana's website and at humantraffickinginc.com. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.